So this is our first question, the number 3.14063, written correct to three decimal places. Yes. So let's see how we can solve this. So the given number is 3.14061. To correct to three decimal places, we start counting from the first number after the decimal point. So we have one, two, three. So because the next number is six, is more than five, it's greater than or equal to five. So we we round up or we add one to this to get three point one four one. So the correct answer is B. Now the second question we have negative 3 squared plus negative 2 squared. So let us write it as a multiplication. So negative 3 times negative 3 plus negative 2 times negative 2. So we multiply negative 3 by 3 to get 4, then negative 2 by negative 2 get 4 so this is 9 and this is 4 and we add to get 13 therefore the correct answer is C my dear students if you want to support me so that I'll keep producing more videos I would like you to go to the description below and click this link and subscribe to my second channel so if you click the link, it will take you here. If you see that this is still red, then you click it. But if it is not red, it means you have already subscribed. That is all I want from you. In, sci in scientific notation, we want to rewrite this number in scientific notation. So the given number, the given number is 170.04, 170.04, to write a number in scientific notation means we are writing a number, number in the form k times 10 exponent n, where n is an integer, where k is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. Now, we have to move the decimal point backwards because if you move it forward, it will not fall within this range. So we move it. If you move it once, we get 17 point something, which is not within this range. Then we have to move back again to get 1.7004, which is within this interval. Then the number of time we move back will be here, which is the n. So we move back one, two times. Moving backwards is positive, so we had exponent two. Therefore, the correct answer is b. Now this is our next question. We want to multiply zero point three eight six by zero point zero six. So. We first of all change this into fraction form. So 3, 0.386 is equal to 386 over 1000. So 386 over 1000. We have 1, 2, 3 decimal places. Then this is 1, 2 decimal places. So it will be 6 over 100 or 06 over 100. Now let us multiply the top to get 6 by. 3 is 6 will give us 23 16. Now the fifth question is this. We are told that what number when added to one whole number 1 over 3 will give 2. So let that number be x. Then we add it to one whole number 1 over 3 to get 2. So this is a linear equation and we need to convert this to an improper fraction. So we multiply 1 by 3 to get 
3 plus 1 which is 4 so it will be 4 over 3 plus x is equal to 2 now we need to clear the fraction so we multiply through by the LCM which is 3 so 3 by 4 over 3 then 3 by x then 3 by 2 now let's simplify to get 4 plus 3x is equal to 6 let's group like terms to get 3x is equal to 6 minus 4 now we simplify to get 3x equal to 2 we need to divide both sides by 2 by 3 to get x 3x over 3 is equal to 2 over 3 then this simplifies to give us 2 over 3 so the correct answer is b We want to find the exact value of that is 7.26 divided by 1.8 all over 1000. So, this is what we want to find the exact value of. Now, let us change this to fraction and this one to fraction to get 3726 over. 100 divided by 18 over 10 then all over 1000 now we change this we reciprocate this and multiply by the we change this to give a multiplication and multiply by the reciprocal of this which is 10 over 18 now we can cancel out 10 we'll go here 10 times so 10 will go here 10 times then 18 will go here 207 times now we simplify this further to get 207 over 10 because 207 times 1 is 207 10 times 1 is 10 now we can easily convert this to decimal to get 20.7 over 1000 now we can move just divide division by thousand just a matter of moving the decimal point backwards three times and that will give us 0 0.0207 so the correct answer is this we want to find the highest common factor of 12 15 and 16 so we can we have several methods I'm going to use this one. Factors of 12 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Then the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. So factors of 60 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then 10, 12, 15, then 20, and 30, and 60. Now let's list the common factors. The common factors are 1 and 3. You can see only 1 and 3 in both, in all of them. These are the common factors. Then the highest of these common factors is 3. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Now, then number 8. You want to rewrite 301. So we know 301 is the same as 300 plus 1. Then this is the same as 3 times 100 plus 1. Then we write this as a power of 10 to get 3 times 10 exponent 2 plus 1. So the correct answer is D.
if 3n is an odd number which of the following is an even number so let's see we are given that 3n is an odd number so let's pick some few odd numbers so we have 1 3 5 7 now let's subtract 1 from them you see to get 3n minus 1 equal this 1 minus 1 then 3 minus 1, 5 minus 1, 7 minus 1. Then this will give us 0, 2, 4, 6. These are all even numbers. Then let's try for this and see. 3n minus 2 will give us negative 1, 1, 3, 5. These are not even numbers. Then 3n plus 2 will give us this. 1 plus 2, 3 plus 2, 5 plus 7, 5 plus 2, 7 plus 2. And this will result in 3, 5, 7, 9. These are not even numbers. Then 3n is an odd number and 2n is an even number. So odd plus even, odd plus even, odd plus even, odd plus even. And this will give us 3, 7, 11, 15. All these are odd numbers. So the correct answer is A. Now we have this 25 times 130 is the same as. So we can use a distributive property. We have 25 times 130. Let's expand 130. That will be 25 times 100 plus 30. Now let's distribute 25 to get 25 times 100 plus 25 times 30. Now let's rewrite this as. 25 times 30 plus 25 times 100 or 100 times 25 so the correct answer is this option D if you want to join our online class click the link in the description below where you can get access to all the solution to this paper and other papers now if you can still see this writing here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload you see it is still red you have to click it so that if i upload the next video you'll be informed click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe